Welcome back to Alpaca Maze. It's great to see you again. Good morning. It is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. And I was all ready, am all ready actually, to put on some miles. But unfortunately, once I got outside, there's frost on the ground and I'm not dressed for miles. Now normally in my little neck of the woods, we would, um, on Sunday, it would be the perfect day to go out and hike just about anywhere you wanted to. Because I, on Sunday, in my little neck of the woods, everybody's either sleeping in, making breakfast, or going to church. Not necessarily in that order. So I thought, oh, this will be perfect. I'll have the whole town to myself, and whoops, let me fix that, sorry about that. I'll have the whole town to myself, and it'll be great. Not so, because it's only 28 degrees out, and I am not going to put on a winter coat for this little hike. So... Uh, my intention is, since it's supposed to be, you know, in the mid-50s today, if not higher, my intention is to just wait it out, maybe two, three hours, get this clip up and put into the show and get some editing done, because I have some information for you, and then we'll try it again later. So, until whatever time later ends up being uh, that's it for now now you might wonder why I have egg on my face well let's find out remember last week when I gave you the link to this guy the Michigan doctor that says leave groceries outside for three days if possible shows how to disinfect and we did not watch the video but I did highlight that first part about um, it being updated, and we scrolled down just to kind of give you a skim view of what the doctor was suggesting we do. And then I was made aware that there was a big issue. Now these chips, again, I could dump them into a container, but I'm just going to choose to spray them off, that's okay, before they go into the pantry. Now, do you want to wipe off the areas that you think human's hands were touching a bit more liberally than the areas that you don't think human hands have touched? That's all common sense stuff. Now, lastly, I've got some fruit here. And the way I'm going to handle fruit is I'm going to treat this fruit, which is pretty much porous. It's kind of like our skin. So if I wash that like we should be washing our hands for 20 seconds, then, then that should be just fine. I'm going to dump it in some soapy water here. <laughs> I'm going to come back and watch each one individually. And I do think that the better you are soaking the fruit, the better it's going to be as far as your chances of getting that completely sterilized from coronavirus. Totally my fault, and I apologize. No excuses. I should have listened to the video first, and I did not, and we only skimmed the article on camera. Why shouldn't you uh, wash your produce in soapy water well he told you he said that the skin of fruit and vegetables is porous like your skin so if it's porous then soap residue is going to get into your fruit and veg and soap residue can cause digestive upsets and what you don't want to do is unintentionally compromise your health further. Totally my fault. I apologize. If you need peace of mind, we've got recommendations up on the screen. So what am I going to do? I am going to wash the things that it makes sense to wash. If they're going into the cooking pot, 
I'm not going to worry about whether I soak them in vinegar for five minutes or not. I am going to spray down my cutting and preparing surfaces with that vinegar solution, one part vinegar to three parts water. On to the next topic of confusion. These things, face masks. There is an army of people out there either soliciting handmade or custom-made face masks or making them. And my best friend from high school is one of them. So we had a big discussion yesterday. She gave me some tips and pointers. I went and did my own homework, and I made a decision about what I'm going to do. Many of my friends who are abandoned explorers wear face masks because they're exposed to dust and allergens and mold, heavy mold and asbestos. So this is not an unfamiliar concept to me. I have one from exploring with fighters, but listen to what they say when um, oftentimes in the video, they will say that despite the fact they had a cotton mask on or a buff, they came out still either coughing or having difficulty breathing. So you want something that's gonna filter out a little bit better and keep in mind these masks only protect you medically from infecting someone else if they're cotton um, or even doubled over fabric. Well, you're going to say to me, why bother then? I don't want to wear a mask. Uh, okay, American, you know, I understand your point of view. It's um, the point that we will be in self-isolation longer if we don't prevent the next person from getting sick and, if, and infecting three more people. So even if we are asymptomatic carriers or we don't know that we're already infected, if we're infecting other people under those circumstances, we ourselves are gonna be in quarantine that much longer. I've put some guidelines up there. I'm not going to recommend whether you make yourself a surgical style mask with the pleats or whether you make uh, one with a form fitting. But what you do need to do is make sure that it is tight against your face and seals out as much air as possible. The vacuum cleaner bags that are HEPA filter bags are the um, bags that you would use for creating an interior liner that's disposable and you can replace. I'm not gonna recommend one style over the other. I have a personal preference and I am only making masks for myself, my daughter who lives in a different county and two friends over in the UK. That's it. That's all I got for you today. The sun is shining. My shoes are still on. It's time to go put on some miles. I hope to see you soon. God bless. Take care.